Hi everyone, this is Ben Songrath with EdTech Teacher. What I want to talk about in this screencast is how to insert data validation and conditional formatting into your Google Sheet. Data validation is an easy way to create a drop down menu inside of a Google Sheets cell. So for this example, we're going to use the RSVP column in a guest list. Perhaps you're having a party and you want to be able to mark who has RSVP'd and who has not. One way to do this would just be type in yes or no into all of these columns. But that would be cumbersome and take time. Instead, what I'm going to do is insert a data validation. In order to do that, I'll go up to data and then go down to validation and I have my options here. I can see that I have the ability to edit my cell range. Right now it's on E2 because that's what my screen has highlighted. I'm actually going to put in colon E and what this does is it opens it up from everything from E2 all the way through the column E. So I'd have no end to my data validation right now. If you wanted to cap it at say guess 10, you would type in 10 in this section. But for this example, I'm not sure how many people are gonna to come to my party. So I wanna make sure I leave that wide open. The next is what I want it to do for criteria. So I'm gonna choose list of items. In order to do this, I wanna say yes, somebody is coming, or no, something is not coming. So I put in yes, comma, no. I'm gonna go ahead and leave all of this as it is because I want to display it as an incel button to show the list. So that means there's gonna be a drop down caret next to it. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. You can see that now every cell in column E has one of these drop down carrots. So I can go to the Joneses, say yes, they are coming. The Smiths are not coming but the Scotts, Johnsons, and Halperts are all coming. Now that I have my list completed, or at least partially completed, I would like to be able to color code who is coming and who is not coming. In order to do this, I can turn every cell in column E that has the word yes or no a different color, and that's called conditional formatting. In order to do that, I need to go up to Format, and then down to Conditional Formatting, over here in the range section, I'm going to label it range E2 through E, just as we did in our data validation. And now I have my options here to format my cells if several different options come up. For this, because I'm just doing yes or no, I want to do text contains and then go yes. I want to change that color to green. Clicking the fill color, go down, select my green. You can see on my sheet, all of the yeses turn green. I'm gonna hit done and add a new rule. The next rule I'm gonna also apply to the same column, E2 through E. This time I want my nose to turn red. So I'm gonna format my cells if text contains the word no. Change the fill color to red and my no turns red. After I hit done, and then close out of the formatting rules. I go over to my list again, and now if I get another family, I will select yes, and it'll turn green. The next one, no, will turn red. So it's easy on the eyes. You can use this in education. If you're looking for a way to quickly uh, conditionally format form entry data and find where a particular answer is entered on a giant spreadsheet. So there you have it, conditional formatting and data validation, two fun ways to spice up your Google Sheets. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, and as always, check out our website, edtechteacher.org.